Hey guys, how's it going? It's me, Josh Halter, owner and founder of The Bio Dude. And today, I wanted to show you guys some of the stages of tadpole development for some of my poison dart frogs that I have here at The Bio Dude. So I, I have a lot of my tadpole supplies out here, uh, my feeding, my different leaf litter, as well as for transitioning. And I wanted to show you guys what it looks like when they lay their eggs, all the way to end stage development coming out of the water. So I have multiple species here um, of Tinctoriuses spread out. We have Azurius, Bacuis, and Tucumacuanes, all in different stages that I wanted to show you guys. So I'm really excited. So the first thing that I want to show you guys is uh, here are some eggs that were laid by my Azurius dart frogs. So you can see here uh, that, the, that these you are just starting to go through their uh, through their development here. So pretty soon we're gonna start seeing that line in the middle go all the way across and it's gonna take the shape of a little tadpole. Okay. And then, oh, here we are. This was, these guys were laid on the 17th. Here's a great option here for you. So we got a tadpole right here. Pretty cool, right? So you can also see a pretty good amount of uh, develop the, development there. This guy should be chewing out of his uh, little bubble here any day and coming out into the world. Because you can see here we have a Tukamakwane uh, that was born on the on February 6, 2023. And you can see we keep them in a, in a deli cup with, uh, with some different various types of leaf litter uh, for tannin enrichment and things like that. So let me see him in there. Boop. All right, and then we have the next stage. So this is this stage is really, really cool. These guys, they start acting more like fish, to be honest. Really starting to wiggle around and be extremely active. And they about doubled in size. Uh, and you can see here, this one was born on the 31st. So there's a big difference here. This one was born on 228.23. This one was born on 131.23, just to give you an idea how quickly they change. And then we have one that is about 29 days younger or older. And this is a big boy in here. We get we are about this big and this is a, a vacuous. Okay. And then here we have one born in November. Now this guy is, is pretty close here to getting his, uh, getting his legs. I would say he's a couple weeks out. You can kind of see the size, the size that we have put on. And then we have this guy right here that is starting to get his, absorb his tail. And once he completely absorbs his tail, he'll be ready to come out into the water. All right, so then once they absorb their tails and they decide to crawl on out of the water and then I put them into something like this. This is a little grow out enclosure. This is a little shoe box. So in here, I have some Azurius dart frogs. We do a layer of charcoal down at the base with a hardy layer of leaf litter, as well as some mild botanicals. They are in this grow out for the first three to four weeks of their life. And then they are moved out into um, a slightly larger enclosure. And then by the time they are about the size of a quarter is when they will be ready for sale. But I just wanted to show you guys really quick some of the different stages of frogs we got going on here at the Bio Dude. I think it's a lot of fun. Dart frogs are so easy to breed and they are a lot of fun to keep as pets. All right, guys, you know me. My name's Josh Halter, owner and founder of the Bio Dude. You can come see a bunch of poison dart frogs here at my facility, the Bio Dude Houston, Monday through Friday, 9 a.m. to 4, Saturday, 10 a.m. to 5. Feel free to visit my website and hit that like and subscribe button. Dude abides.